Don't tell my disciples. Meet me in Galilee. Tell me who's that writing John the Revel. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure when that's... I'm pointed in the right direction. I'm not sure when that sun's going to pop out, but we can see some, like, luminescence, luminescing. And that is... A good thing, a good thing. <clears throat> Hi, Dirty Jesus. Dirty Jesus, how is everyone doing? Um, this is a special... Hang on, James. Look at how... Uh, I do not know what I concocted. But, I'm gonna... I hope it's healthy. I hope it's healthy. Is the camera... Oh, here we come. Here we come. Alright, this is an election day special. Um. <clears throat> Because uh, I was thinking, um, well, there is there is traditional there's traditional biblical uh, lore uh, that previous Jesus said to pay taxes. He said, uh, in answer to some question before he was killed, he said, "Render uh, unto Caesar what is due Caesar, and, and the things that are due Caesar, and." to God the things that are, are the kingdom of God. So, you know, there's the the theological suggestion that um, to properly survive in the realm of earthly endeavors, it is um, it's essential to make concessions. And not, not, not concessions in a way that would upset God and uh, impede your progress to heaven, but more like would um, ease your ease the passage of your suffering through uh, through through life or something. Um, and then John the Martyr. Sooner or later, I don't know. Like I'm not, I'm not really up on the, on the dates of when. But he made a simplistic observation that that that, that said that you should pay your taxes, and like biblical scholars like to say, oh, it's way more complicated than that. And it certainly is, or or may be. But I guess all I all I all I want to point out is that, um, you know, paying taxes in contemporary society. It has not, or or is not something that's 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 been questioned um, by by a group of people large enough to to significantly make a difference and say something. Um, yeah, and I guess I bring this I bring this up in the context of uh, Donald Trump because I. Um, I feel like I bear a lot of empathy for him. I feel like I feel like I understand why he hurts and and and, and why he's and why he's passionate. And why he fights. Um, and why he can't even can't even fathom. Why he can't even fathom about what to do if if you have if you have committed a wrong, what it means to feel contrite. Um, I don't want there's a lot of diagnosis out there, and I don't want to. I don't want to diagnose. I don't want to upset the base. I w I just want to say personally that I, I, understanding narcissistic tendencies, um, as I do, um, it is very, very, very clear that he. Um, That the locusts, like the, 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 or not the locusts, 
I guess locus is the right word, but it's a weird Latin word, and what the hell does it mean? Um, that, that his personality is not defined by himself, but it is a constant shifting aggregate of other people's definitions of him. So, <laughs> if, a, if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one out there to hear it, does it make a sound is an important metaphor because if no one followed him on Twitter, we wouldn't hear him. He wouldn't make a sound. There, the bluster, the bluster would go nowhere. The bluster would catch no leaves, right? Maybe that's what Twitter is. Twitter is like you throw some wind out there and you see how much you ruffle. And oh, it's coming. <laughs> It's coming back there. Uh, and you see how much you rustle. And I think um, a consequence of, I think across the board, all of the, uh, what are defined as personality disorders, of which narcissism is one of them, um, there was an ill-formed love at a really young age. And that ill-formed love um, created a, a shell, a protective hardening amongst this a, a young being. And that shell protected them against the hurt that they experienced when they were young. And that shell's really, really hard to crack. So it's like rather than a natural mammalian blossoming into um, a creature that is is empathy, a creature that, that is love, um, they're more fighting from, from within their shell, right? For like, for the rest of their, for the rest of their lives really. It's, it's, it, it is, it is, it is painful to see how people operate, but it is, and it's painful that, that the circum, that it's not their fault. Donald, it's not your fault. <laughs> it's not, it's not your fault. Um, but the consequences of the actions of that, which is also not anybody else's fucking fault, right? The consequences of those actions ripple through the universe. And in some cases, the ripples are small, right? In some cases, you just like can't really maintain a stable relationship. Um, so you jump, so you jump to one in the next and everything cycles the same. And like, yeah, it, it would be better if you just stopped having relationships altogether. And, and just became a professional pornography superstar, right? My track, my track. Or, or more, more complicated, or like, yeah, building buildings and like all that, like congratulations, you did that. But now, you, oh God, he wants, to, he wants to be president, right? So the ripples, the ripples become uh, tsunamis. And, and everyone, except for a small group of, people are are concerned um, and then there's another group of people who are confused and like uncommitted uncommitted and I guess um, yeah I guess like everybody wants to talk to the uncommitted voter um, but like I would say I would say that if you are I would say that if you are uncommitted or if you are as dissatisfied as everyone says they are and these like other little fringe candidate people that are sort of oddly like allowed to run but not allowed to run again like the we act like politics <laughs> is like the, or politicians like to tell us that politics is the apotheosis. That's the right word. Or acme? Or apex? Apotheosis, I do want to go with though. Um, the apotheosis of, of like, of the human experience. Like, we fought our way out of trees so that democracy and voting. And that's, <laughs> that's ridiculous. That is a ridiculous uh, mode to consider. So, uh, I just, I want to propose a protest vote. I want to, well, no, here's what I want to do. 
I was thinking, I was, because, because, yeah, no, let's let, let Donald be president, but, like, whoever the other one is, um, I, I don't see in her, uh, like, uh, Christian love, and Christian, and by, and my, don't get me, don't, let's not have a debate about what Christianity is, who, what, or does, or any of that nonsense. Let's just, uh, let's just agree that Christian love is love where somebody, you know, tries more often than not to implement the golden rule. Do unto others as you want to have done unto you. So, generally try to make every situation better. Every situation committed with, with, with empathy, care, love, etc. So, so I was like, well, where is, where's the love party? Where, where is, where is the candidate whose, whose chest beams with love like, like this Care Bear? Uh, and obviously it doesn't exist. And obviously that's a ridiculous thing to have just said. But if, if there's no love, well, fuck it, don't vote. Don't vote. I feel like the strongest, the strongest message that can be sent is not, is not voting at all is not playing their game, is not playing their game. And then the stronger message, I think, is, is, if, is if everyone, if it's, you send a wide enough message, if you can create a percentage that ripples, oh, don't get me started on statistics. Okay, I'm not allowed to talk about that. <laughs> Stay focused. Uh, if we are focused on, If, if we show them how, how, how meaningfully we don't believe them, then, then maybe we will have like this ground to say like, yeah, and while we're at it, <laughs> we're, also, we're also not that interested in, in paying taxes for your endeavors of which are not imbued with love. And again, it's all about it's all about doing something with a wider set of numbers and if you and if you can accomplish that then then you can't you can't be thrown in jail you can't be a caught like evil the bully cannot win and now the government is asking us to decide which bully we would like and We need, we, need, we need to operate in a system of, of non-violence. Violence begin. Shut that fucking dog up. Is this ruining everything? Okay, don't yell at animals. <laughs> don't yell at animals. If we can, if we can move with love, uh, evil cannot get us. And, and these, these, these numbers, my vote, uh, my decision, these, these these black and white categories that they want to try to shove us into um, will not help us find the love that's inside of us and the love that that we have for for everyone we pass throughout the day who who we could could and sometimes and often do choose to help rather than hinder we need to we need to not support a party of hindrance um, we need a love party, or we need, or, or, or like, whatever, it's 30 days away, it's tough to get on the ballot, blah, 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 I get it, so maybe, you know, we say we'll vote for you guys, but like, seriously, you know, this is a, this is a, 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 a Christian nation, and it was really racist, but we stopped, the, we theoretically stopped that. And, and racism, racism is not good. Because uh, racism is just systemic sort of hate, right? It's like, I don't even know why. I just don't like them because they're X. But it's like, there's so many other colors. Not just colors of skin. There's so many other colors to a person. And you barrel roll in with your pre preconceptions, and that's a problem. So, so I believe, or I, I have to believe, because I wake up and I smile, I have to believe that the... That, that, the racism that seems to be bubbling, bubbling um, in America is not legitimate. It is, it is, it is, it is a mouthpiece. It is the winds of racism have have been blown by by 
lots of people, but like sure by Donald. The winds of racism have been blown and it's giving people a chance to rustle, but if they didn't blow, may, like they maybe wouldn't, wouldn't rustle with the same way. So, so maybe we, maybe we like tell, um, maybe we like really start hammering Donald on his, on his Bible and maybe like give him some, uh, lessons in like, you know, Christian ethics and Christian morality. I don't know, does that sound ridiculous? Yes, of course it sounds ridiculous. Render under Caesar the things that are due Caesar, and unto God the things that are due God. Okay, right? So we're voting. So that's Caesar's shit. But like, in this context, in this electoral context, in this like big decision of this thing that's gonna change the rest of our lives, are we thinking about what is what is due to God? I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm not saying we sh I'm not saying that's a thing we have to think about because like I didn't really think about it until right now. All right. I'm going to start I'm going to start thinking about it absolutely. Absolutely. So maybe like that's a good thing to think about today. It's like what is like what is the what is this binding moral agent of religion? subsumed into one little aspect of Christianity, subsumed into one little, you know, outfit of perhaps maybe Jesus. Um, if there was a once every four years, very big obligation, like this, like, what is our, our Hodge? What is our, this traversing to Mecca? In which way have we, have we lain our bodies to the powers that we can't see but we believe in and 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 offered something what is our offering if if we're gonna vote what's our offering and uh, like <laughs> if not voting then not paying taxes and then what do they do nothing whatever ridiculous so anyway so that's my like that's my perspective i think we should not vote uh i have decided <laughs> yeah like and the, but fuck, no wait, vote for the Holy Ghost. There you go, that's it. The candidate, <laughs> our candidate is God, and you vote for him by not voting. You vote for him by not voting. How did that come through? Who knows? It's like hiding back there. Yeah. Right in candidate, Holy Ghost. And maybe even go, yeah, go in and like pretend like you're voting and then just like throw it in there. Throw it in there. Don't write in something stupid. God does not need your pen. He knows. He, she, it. God. The first transgendered. All genders. What's gender? Questions. Well, heck yeah. All right, wish everyone a lovely uh, morning, afternoon, day, evening, and uh, may the winds, may the negative winds not catch your leaves. All right, love in whatever context, way, and means you accomplish it. Bye.